Okay, for topic 12 we're doing integration by partial fractions. It's really integrations dealing with algebraic fractions. Sometimes we'll use partial fractions, sometimes we've got to do long division. So I'll give you an example of both. Okay, the first example, the denominator is a higher degree than the numerator. So this one we do by partial fractions. So if you factor x squared plus 2x minus 8, you get x plus 4 times x minus 2. So I'll do a over x plus 4 plus b over x minus 2. Then you do the little bow tie thing to kind of get the idea of getting the correct piece together. So it's a times x minus 2 plus b times x plus 4 is equal to x plus 10. So first thing you might do is I'll plug in a 2 in for the x. That makes the a term go away. Plug 2 in here and plug 2 in there. I get 6b is equal to 12. So b equals 2. The next thing I would do is plug in negative 4 because that will make my b term go away. So I'll get negative 6a and I will get positive 6. So a equals negative 1. So it means our integral becomes the integral of negative 1 over x plus 4 plus 2 over x minus 2. So the antiderivative would be negative ln of x plus 4 plus 2 times ln of x minus 2 plus c. You can leave your answer like that. Um, could potentially see it written like something like this, just knowing your log rules. So remember, negatives would become division. I take the 2, move it up to the top, make it x minus 2 squared. For the second one, we can't use integration by partial fractions here because the numerator is a higher degree than the denominator. So this is about doing long division. So just remember your long division. We put 2x here, negative 1 there. Start with 4x squared. We ask ourselves, okay, what do we multiply 2x by to get 4x squared? Well, we multiply by 2x. Then do 2x times negative 1, you get negative 2x. Then I got to see how this one and this one, these two cells, have to total 6x. So that's going to be 8x. So to get 8x, I'd multiply by 4. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus something here has to equal 5, so that's going to be 9. That's my remainder. So now I'm going to have 2x plus 4 plus 9 over 2x minus 1. We do our antiderivative. We get x squared plus 4x plus 9 times the natural log of 2x minus 1 plus c. Ah, but we got to remember, we have 2x minus 1 in here. And I didn't do substitution, so i got to compensate. So we got to divide it by 2. So don't forget about that. That does come up on these kinds of problems.